What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back with a Inna's Monk, okay? Inna's Mantra speed build for the Monk in Season 28. This build is very, very strong. It is going to be probably the, one of the best farming builds for the Monk inside of Season 28. And I've already put it in my top five speed builds for next season. So let's go over everything that you're going to need and how to play the build. So you're going to need the uh, five of the pieces for the uh, Inna's Mantra set, where the two-piece set increases the passive of your Mystic Ally and the effect of your Mantra by 100%. This is very good. Uh, the four-piece is gain the base effect of all four Mantras, and you gain 5% damage reduction for each Mystic Ally you have out, which is going to be two. And then Mystic Allies no longer take damage, which is amazing, so they won't die. And then the sixth piece is gain the passives of all five rune mystic allies at all times. Attacking enemies creates your chosen mystic ally to last 15 seconds and then up to 10 mystic allies, which will help give us even more damage reduction. And then the damage of our mystic allies is increased by 900% for each mystic ally we have out. This is a very small number. They nerfed it a couple seasons ago, guys, and for good reason, because this was the top build just overall for a while but it's still very very strong it's going to farm gr 90s it's going to farm t16s no problem so you can get everything that you need for lod wave of light so you got five pieces here and we combined it with the Ogduls authority set so that way you get the reduced damage and increased damage which is awesome and then we're running frostburn for even more uh cold damage and the chance to freeze them which is incredible we paired this with the squirts necklace for double damage as well as focus and restraint for even more damage then what really sets this build off guys is you're gonna need the crudest boots this is where you summon two mystic allies that fight by your side and they deal increased damage and are able to attack in their forms even longer so virtually we're gonna have our mystic allies out at all times okay our our runes or excuse me our gems are banned to powerful for more damage against um elites right after we kill them we got Enforcer to increase the damage of our pets, which technically this is a pet build. And then we have Bane of the Trap for even more damage because it is the best rune in the game. Okay, so in our Canaius Cube, guys, we're gonna have Ingium because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be flying across the map. As soon as we kill our first elite pack, we're gonna be dashing around it. We're gonna be able to, to Cyclone Strike everyone and just let our Mystic Allies take over. So Ingium. Then we got Binding of the Lesser Gods. So enemies hit by our Cyclone Strike take 200% increased damage, which is awesome. So that way, when we're jumping around, we hit Cyclone Strike, do even more damage. It's great. Uh, and then Ring of Royal Grandor, which, uh, which pieces this all together. Oh, forgot to mention my weapon, guys. What am I talking about? In his mantra, this is the weapon that we're going to be using for even more damage. Okay. Into our skills and passives. We have Way of the Hundred Fists. The only reason we have this is to generate uh, spirit if we need it. And at the start of our um, rift, we do it to get our attack speed up. And then we generate all of our um, allies. And then we hit Mystic Ally to let them do their crashing waves. Okay, then Cyclone Strike Implosion pulls up to 34 uh, yards, which is huge. Sucks them all in. We destroy them. Then we got Dashing Strike Quicksilver. Uh, dashing this way just deals lightning damage over time and we can store up to three at a time which is awesome because we need to get around the map really quick serenity ascension for basically immortality and then uh desert shroud epiphany which gives us some increased spirit regen as well as giving us some damage reduction and then while this is active we're able to uh, attack an enemy from far away and it'll teleport us there and then of course mystic ally water ally which just dominates okay in our passives, we have Rentless Assault for 20% more damage against uh, enemies that are blind, frozen, or stunned. They're pretty much going to be stunned or frozen the whole time. Uh, seize the initiative, dealing damage to uh, enemies above 75%. And then attack speed, which is more important there. Beacon of Utah for cooldowns, because we want these uh, skills up at all times. And then I'm rocking the Guardian's Path, because while dueling which we're not doing but while using a two-handed weapon our spirit regeneration is increased by 15 percent because we want this at all times so that's the skills and passives guys cube now into our stat priorities that you're going to want for the helmet you're going to want dex vit crit chance for the shoulders you want dex all resist cooldown mystic ally damage excuse me for the gloves you want dex crit crit we don't want life per hit we want this to be 
something else, just not life per hit. I don't even know what it would be, but we want life. We don't want life per hit. Uh, for our chest piece, we want Dex Vit, uh, Mystic Ally damage. For our Squirts Necklace, we want Cold Skills, Crit Crit. For our Bracers, we want Cold Skills, Dex Vit, Crit Chance. For our Belt, we want Dex Vitality, All Resist Armor. For our Rings, we want Crit Crit. I'm using Dex, but Attack Speed would be fine. Uh, same thing over here, or Damage. Damage, Crit Crit would be good. This is a really bad focus and restraint. For our Pants, we want Dex Vit, All Resist. For our boots, we want Dex Vit, All Resist, not um, Regen's life per second. We want that to be armor. And then for our weapon, we want cold damage, percent damage, dexterity, attack speed, mystic ally damage. Uh, so that is the stat priorities, guys. And the skills, the build is very, very fast, a little tanky, and uh, it's still very, very easy to play. And I think it's going to be the best. Um, monk farming build this season although i do have a sense that the poj will be really good so this is how we're going to do it when you go in let's hit this 90 as always guys we're going to go in hit our uh ascension get our mystic allies up and then let them just go to work cast epiphany hit mystic allies and then we're going to be able to infinitely dash around because we killed an elite pack so here you don't need to stop too often with how big your pull is on the cyclone strike you can really just dash around and we're almost elite hunting in a way because we want to keep our ngm going non-stop so you just want to rush around pull them with cyclone strike and then just mystic ally damage you should really never have to cast uh way of the hundred fists ever again and then all you do is keep epiphany and desert shroud going and that's the build guys really lazy very easy to play no problems still plays like it used to absolutely fantastic i think i've been able to do um oops sub two minutes no problem hey give me that you know sometimes it's two minutes but it's been like sub minute and a half sometimes minute 45 no problem build is super fun to play you're like using just a few buttons and you see the mystic allies they do all the damage that's it guys they do everything they take it all down oh yeah give me some more speed even though i'm like infinitely dashing around no problem just kill everything oh is that a dead end where did i oh no i'm really bad at this game guys oh sweet all right come here stun him kills the rift guardian no problem we're still under two minutes absolutely fantastic the build just absolutely shreds guys no problem super super fast kill everything even with the nerf blizzard gave it it's still good we got it in a minute 45 sub two minutes gonna be grinding out of your mind it's no problem this build absolutely flexes on everything. Even though PLJ is your uh, your Hadred's gift this season, I think if you're really going to farm for everything, this is the build because of how fast it is dashing around. But PLJ, that full build guide video will be coming soon, guys. And we'll test it out and see how strong it can be. But this is one of my top five speed builds for season 28, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.